Well, the TNA world, the TNA fan base got some good news today that Ace Austin is resigning, returning to TNA. Uh, we don't know the length of the contract. I mean, I guess we never do. Um, but um, we expect them to be around for the foreseeable future. And it is it is good news because he's one of the names that I – I mean, I make incorrect predictions all the time, but he was one of the names I predicted would be done after the year and uh, along with Chris Bay. And, and it really had nothing to do with the Scott Demore situation. He, he's just someone that I think, you know – could probably find opportunity elsewhere. And, uh, you know, he just hasn't elevated up the card in the way that I think he frankly should have. I thought he had some of the most or a couple of the most entertaining X division title runs. I've said many, many times, I'm not the ABC's biggest fan. I'm just not a bullet club guy in general, but as far as his X division title runs, I thought he was excellent uh, I mean, there was one run, I think his very first one that I, I felt was cut short, unnecessarily short. And I think it was the Willie Mack, right? Did he lose it to Willie Mack? So I just thought that was unnecessary, uh, dropping the title in front of no fans. Um, and maybe I have the names confused here, but I'm pretty sure that's who um, who he beat or who beat him. But um, it is good news. It's going to be interesting to see if the ABC really like develops past just being a tag team or if there's going to be, if you know, there's going to be more singles action because they've, they're kind of getting away from the whole bullet club. Uh, you know, they got their own music now, you know, they, they rebranded from being the bullet club to being the ABC. So it seems like they're kind of getting away from that a little bit. And I think there's, there's positives and negatives to disassociating yourself with uh, the bullet club name. But he, did, I caught a, a clip here on Twitter. I didn't listen to the whole thing because I, I find her highly annoying. Uh, Denise Alcedo was doing an interview with Ace Austin. And, and people find probably find me annoying too. That's fine. I'm just uh, – obviously, I have to listen to myself speak. I have no choice on that one. But uh, I, I find her stuff pretty annoying. So I, I just kind of checked out that clip. But, you know, he, he made a point that – and I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing – uh, that there was just some unbusiness, unfinished business in TNA. You know, that he had won X Division Championship twice, tag team titles two, three times, whatever it is. But he hasn't quite gotten there to the top to the world title. And I think there is something to be said for wrestlers who want to take care of business before moving on. And I think more often than not, it helps them when they move on. You know, I mean, a guy like Brian Cage is probably a bad example. He did everything you could in TNA just about, and he's... You know, he jobs nightly in AEW. But years ago, if you guys remember, Mike Bennett was around for one year. I thought there was so much they could have done with him had he stuck around. I thought he had a real shot at at being the longest reigning world champion at the time. You know, if they were able to put the title on him. And he kind of prematurely left. And he, when I say prematurely, it just means he did the one year in TNA. He accomplished nothing. He had a joke X division title run. And, you know, I, I said back then, I was like, I don't know that he's ready for that next level. I mean, there was, there was so much that he really should have accomplished at a lower level before he, you know, he tried to take it up to the food chain too high. And that's what he did. And he got there and it was a, a nightmare. And, uh, you know, I think his career has panned out okay. But, you know, someone like Ace Austin, you know, it's easy to say, well, I want to go to WWE or NXT. He could have easily been in NXT. It's easy to say, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to AEW. But where are you going to be in the card? And it looks like he has some outside interest regarding acting and stunt work. And something I've always said, you know, if they want to be competitive with signing free agents, because, you know, I've always said financially, they're not going to be that competitive. I've just said, you have to offer offer something that other companies aren't offering. You have to offer other you have to offer opportunity that doesn't exist out there otherwise. And if it means you know a lot more freedom to do independent work, if it means greater opportunity to chase outside interests, then then that's something they have to focus on and and you know offer. 
But I also do think that Anthem needs to step in and, and play a role in that. So you got someone like Ace Austin says, hey, I'm trying to do acting. I'm trying to do stunt work. He even put a tweet out saying, hey, you know, if anyone knows anywhere looking for, <laughs> you know, stunt, um, and it, anyone do stunt work, let me know. And, you know, someone responded like, shouldn't an Anthem being helped? Excuse me, I'm stumbling all over myself this morning. Should an Anthem be helping you with that? Shouldn't they have those capabilities? Shouldn't they have the the strings to pull to to do that kind of thing? Because there was, you know, there's reports of we're going to get TNA talent involved and um, access TV and blah, 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 blah. You know, if, if that if that is something that they're able to offer wrestlers and that's that's something they've got to focus on, even if it's a low level of acting. I mean, who the hell watches this channel? Even if it's a low level, I think it's a good idea to to get the wrestlers, you know, involved because some some people are going to come into TNA seeing it as a stepping stone company. I know the fans don't like hearing that, but it's true. Why not making us making it a stepping stone for acting as well? You know, so uh, I think as long as TNA can find unique ways to to offer what you can't find elsewhere, then they're going to have a good chance at being able to sign people. But if they're trying to compete just strictly like, hey, come here and wrestle and trying to trying to compete with other wrestling companies, then they're going to have a pretty hard time. So good news for us. Ace Austin returning. And we'll see where his uh, f- his uh, career takes us in TNA. We'll see what his future is.